Hi YouTube and welcome back to the channel Retail Investing and Trading and in today's video uh, I want to go over a very basic thing when it comes to any kind of trading not just forex trading, stock trading, commodities trading, whatever type of trading you are doing or you want to be doing you gotta understand the candlestick. Of course that's that's correct only if you're using the candlestick chart. There are uh, multiple types of charts, but most used, at least what I know, is candlestick chart. And a candlestick is actually a Japanese invention, and it looks something like this. I'm purposely doing this video on, on iPad today because I can write here, and it will be much more easier and much more interactive in my opinion, if you don't like it, please comment below and I will, I'll stop doing these iPad videos. I'll just record everything on a, on a screen. But uh, to create this beautiful candle on a screen, it will be much more harder. So basically, that's how candle looks like. There are two types of candlesticks. Some would argue that they are just bullish, that they are bull, bullish and bearish candlesticks. And then some would say that if we have a green candlestick, that all of green candlesticks are bullish candlesticks and all of red candlesticks would be then bearish candlesticks. And there are also um, a candlestick that looks like this. And then sometimes the, the candlestick is so thin, the body of the candlestick is so thin that it's neither bullish or bearish. They are so-called do doji candlesticks, but more on that later. Let's go back to the look of a candlestick that we have right here. So what, what are the main things about every candlestick that forms on a chart? Okay, so let's start here. There are a few, few of them, okay? The first thing is the wick or the shadow of a candlestick okay shadow it's a shadow of a candlestick or so-called wick that's the same thing and it tells us uh, where has price been in some of the session okay so for example let's say that this candlestick that we draw here was an hour one time frame which means that for every candlestick to print we need to go from opening of an hour to close of an hour. It goes 60 minutes in order for one candlestick like this to form. Then this here, the top of the wick here, marks the highest, sorry for my writing, highest price point where the candlestick, where, where the price has been, okay? Let's say that this was a bullish candlestick. And then the opening of a candlestick was here. So we have an open price point. This is how when the candlestick before this one ended, the second candlestick is opening. So this is the open price point. Then because the candlestick is obviously green, price went up from the opening price so the price where the where the where the candlestick closed is called close price Clo okay price where the candlestick has closed which gives us this inner part between open and close of a candlestick which is a candlestick body okay candle sorry candlestick body and then we have a lowest point here which tells us where the price has been in a battle which lasted one hour and there is a reason why I said the battle because besides looking at the candlestick just as a like this like a body you have a highest highest price for the highest point of a candlestick which is a wick or a shadow and you have the lowest part which is also called the wick and the shadow every wick being up or below the candle candle body is called shadow or wick 
and the part of a candlestick that's between opening price and closing price is called body okay and uh, candlesticks are usually printed in two colors. One is for bullish trend, one is for the bearish trend. So let's say that we have one candlestick like this here. And let's say that the price, let, let's say that the new candlestick has started printing from this price point, okay? So the new candlestick would look, if this is opening price, okay? This right here then becomes open. Okay, and now if candle, if this candle closes anywhere below this price point here, this one, this, these guys, this here, then the candlestick would be printed red. Okay, so if it closed anywhere, just anywhere below here, it would be printed in red color. Up, it would be printed in red color. However, if the candlestick in not in any other case forms uh, goes up okay so for example if that candlestick would look like this opening price we would go up and then close like this it would be a bullish candlestick okay now but usually the price never goes just up and then the candle close and then just from here down and then the candle close. No, there is usually some kind of a fight. So the price goes up, then the sellers are pushing price in. Price goes up, down, up, down, up, 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 okay, down. And this can happen a lot of time, a lot, a lot of these movements up and down happen. Every tick happens, a lot of ticks happen within the hour. And the story of the candlestick is being told actually because of the wicks. Okay, because I'll show you a few of the examples. If we open here, look for this particular movement. If we open here, look at this. We are opening here. We went up. What we got? We got a wick. Okay, we are starting here. We went up here. We got a wick. So we are moving down on this wick to this point here. Then we're moving up again on the same wick to this point here. Then down all the way to back here. Then up to here. Then down to here. Then up to here. Then down to here. Then up to here. Wick extends. Then down to here. Then finally up to here and then down to here. So how would this candlestick look like? So we went, we did that journey with, with the wick. We opened here, we went up, we came back down and then we closed here. This is the opening price here, open. This right here is a close. Close is above the open, so the candlestick is in green color. We have this green candlestick with a huge wick. What this, I'll, I'll write it here to, I'll create it here to make your life easier and to easily see this, okay? So that's our candlestick. So what is this candlestick actually showing us? A newbie trader would say, okay, this is a bullish candlestick because it's green. But experienced traders depends where this candlestick is being printed can tell the story of a candlestick because the battle happened between bulls and bears bulls were trying to push look at this here look at look at this again trying to push price up it they were pushed down then push up then down up and down finally here you can see that the sellers came in so bulls i'm back here Bulls at some point had the control, and but the sellers came in and pushed the price down. And when I see this kind of a candlestick here like this, usually I think, okay, bull, bulls were in control, but sellers might start kicking in and seeing something that makes me not want to sell, makes me not want to buy, okay? Also, this same candlestick could be formed like this 
it's the same pattern, same look of a candlestick, just a different color of a candlestick. It's the same meaning. This just means that the candlestick open was here and close is here. Close is below, open, and we got red body. When the close is above, open, we have green body. This is a red body and this here is green body, okay? But I'm reading candlesticks not by the color of them. I'm reading the story of each and every candlestick. That's very important. Every candlestick has so-called its name, okay? There is bullish marabuzu, there is bullish engulfing, there is hammer, there is a shooting star, there is a hanging man, there is a three bar reversal, etc., etc. And more on the detail markup of a candlestick and the candlestick patterns, I'll include in some of the other videos, but here is just basics, okay? Like opening of a candle, close of a candle, body of a candle, highest wick, uh, highest price of a candle, uh, what does wick tells us, etc., etc. And with that being said, with this little story about candlesticks, I want to hop on charts and show you a few examples in live charts, okay? So I prepared the smooth transition. Let's see, will that work? Boom, it worked. Okay, but I think that I'm a, I need to be in photos. Let's see, let's see it like this. Okay, so here we are. We are in photos right now. I can, yes, drag, zoom in, you edit. Uh, where is markup? Good. The tin is price point. Okay, so let's see some kind of a, there we go. So let's say that this here is our starting point. We are moving up, down, up, down, up, down. We st uh, where, where, nah. Here, here, here. We are moving up. And then we came to this candlestick. What does this candlestick tell you? We were moving up, yes? Strong, big as bullish engulfing candle because with the body engulfs the previous candle and it's green and it, it says, so we, op we closed here previously, then we went a little bit up, down, and then the bulls pushed the price up all the way to here. They closed above the previous, highest high of the previous candle, so bulls are in control, yes? Would you agree with me? Well, I think you should at this point because this is correct. And then this little candle prints. Okay, this is how it looks like. What does it tell you? It tells you that this is the open of a candle. Yes. And then there was a fight because sellers kicked in and they were trying to push price down to this level. But then buyers kick in and they were trying to push the price all the way to this level, yes? And then the sellers, which gives us the highest high of a candle. And this gives us the uh, lowest low, lowest low of a candle. And this here is highest high of a candle. Uh, learn these terms because they will be very useful in your trading. And then when the bulls push the price here, again, the seller, sellers came in and pushed the price to this price point. However, this is a close. This was open. What did we say? Close is above open of a, open of a candle. We have a green candle. Yes, we did. We have a green candle. But what it tells me that the last thing that it had, and oh, by the way, guys, there is one in, important other thing to note here, okay? I will write this candle here as well. Look, it could also be this thing. So from previous candle, we can have starting point that first buyers kicked in, yes? Yeah, May giving us the highest high of a candle. Then 
sellers kicked in, giving us the lowest low of a, ca- of a candle. But eventually, at the end of the day, buyers kicked in and gave us, sorry, the close. Nah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gave us the close of a candle, which was here. Not here, because the first bar started here. This is the open. and But the last bars in this scenario stopped the price here. So, which gives us this kind of a candle. Same scenario, same looking candle as this one here. Same thing. But the story is different. Is it? Because here, what would you say in this above example, let's call it number one, what would you say, what would be the biggest, bigger chance, where would the market go? Up or down? Sellers, buyers, sellers. Who is in control? Who, where is the fight? Who, who has last word? In this case here, sellers. But in case number two, buyers. So that's why this kind of candles that are open and close of a body is around in the middle of wicks are called are called indecision. Because neither buyers or sellers were sure and didn't push the price much lower or much higher. Okay? And then the market stalled. Market basically moved at the end of the session, which was one hour. Let's say that the time frame was one hour. The market price didn't move too much. While if we take a look at this, some kind of a well, wait, stop, cancel. If we take a look at some other example, for example, this one here, look, this one here. <laughs> What happened here? Can you tell? Price came up. I'm very bad with this thing. Price came up. Sorry. Price came up. We got some kind of rejection by opening price. Yes. Pushing price up. But then the sellers came in and closed below the candle. Here's the open, again, open. There is close and we got red candle. There is a rejection, rejection. Sellers are saying, no buyers, no bulls. We are in control. We wanna push price down. And look what happened immediately afterwards. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Beautiful, big, bearish candle uh, with a slow wick, with a small wick, small wick, no buyers, no sign of buyers, nothing, nothing. This, this, and then sellers, boom. And then sellers, look at this here, all the way to here all the way no almost no buyers almost no buyers but look three candles after sellers are pushing down but the buyers are saying no 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 it's enough it's enough we are pushing here this one is by the way it's called hammer hammer we are pushing price up it's been enough and from that point onwards, look, every candle almost after this hammer has higher high and the price of a candle has a higher close. This candle closed about the higher high from previous candle. This candle closed above the highest high of the previous candle. This candle closed above the uh, highest high of the previous candle. This candle closed about the highest higher high of the previous candle. Indecision. And look what started happening after indecision. Can you see this? Stall and sideway move, sideways movement. Indecision. Indecision. And then again, buyers. 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 A little bit of a retracement. Buyers. Buyers. 
retracement, etc., etc. But this brings me to the end of this video, and I didn't do one very important thing, <laughs> self-promotion. So I have to do it right now. Guys, take a look at the bottom right of this video, click that subscribe button, hit that smash the, that bell button and help me help YouTube algorithm to rank our videos higher on the search engine and help as many people as possible. And with that being said, I will end this video and um, invite you to go on charts and do this kind of exercise as much as you can so that you can start reading and not just reading, understanding the candlesticks. Thank you very much and talk to you soon.